Hi guys, good morning. This is Teacher Jam Lokdanin Buslog. So welcome po sa aking channel at uh, our lesson for today is the work immersion. Ang ating pong module for today is the module for the rights and duties of employees and employers, confidentiality in the workplace and conflict resolution. So yan po yung i-discuss natin for today. So last time, natatandaan nyo pa ba yung ating na-discuss last time? Guys, natatandaan nyo pa yung ating module 3? Yes, yung module 3 natin, natatandaan pa ba? So, yung module 3 po natin yung na-discuss natin is more about the safety and in the workplace. Okay, so what is uh, your expectations in this uh, uh, work immersion? So, this is your self-learning module on a pre-immersion and all the activities provided in this lesson will help you learn and understand the rights and duties of employees and employers, confidentiality in the workplace, and effective conflict resolution. So after going through this e-module, you are expected to get oriented on the rights of employers, employees, and other persons and realize the importance of practicing confidentiality in the workplace and practice confidentiality in the workplace or wherever it is necessary and identify the techniques in solving and preventing conflict. So these are the uh, uh, objectives for our lesson for today. So, be, But before we're going to our lesson, can we please answer the pretest? So this is just only a uh, five questions and, and this is so easy, okay? Uh, for the directions, identify whose duties and rights of the following. Choose among the employer, employee, or the other person. And write A if it is for the employer, and letter B if it is for the worker employee, and letter C if it is for the other person. Okay, I will give you a minute for answering that pretest. Pre Okay, after answering the pretest, let us now move to recap. So let us now recap. So let us apply what you have learned in the previous module. So that is the last time kahapon yung nag-module tayo. So that is the uh, module 3 for the safety in the workplace. As you remember, I know. So uh, on my next slide, uh, it shows the 10 hazards. Uh, the pictures and I then identify at least 5 hazards and explain why they are hazard. So these are the... Uh, uh, the picture. So, kindly please identify the hazard and explain. So, ano ba yung nakikita nyo dito sa picture na ito? Kung makikita nyo dito, ano yung mga hazard dito? May ma meron ba? So, hindi siya organized, di ba? Hindi organized yung kanilang files. Okay. So, uh, nakakadisgrasa din yan. So, meron ditong baso. Ayan. So, possible na pag nalaglag yung drinks or or uh, the glass with a glass of water or juice, it might get into the computer set or the computer. So, magkakaroon siya ng sparks. O baka possible na masira siya. Short circuit, I mean. And then, at, if you, you can look at this part, hindi siya organized, ba? And this thing, yung mga file folder na nakalagay dun sa taas ng cabinet. So, as you could see, uh, if that falls, so mamaya ay, mag fall down siya into the employee's head. So it might get an accident, right? So yan. So as you could see, there are so many hazard here. Okay, so let us now move on to our lesson. So uh, our lesson for today is um, here. One of my nephew is a regular messenger from a one of the low uh, firms in Manila. He or she uses a motorcycle in bringing the documents to the clients. And one day, he got a road accident and he fell or she fell from the motorcycle, which caused him a bruises and a uh, leg injury. And eventually, he was brought to the hospital by the concerned citizens. And why do you, who do you think paid his hospital bills? What about his absences or leave? So uh, do you think uh, the, the company will cover for that? So uh, yes, it is the law firm where he still works or she's works and the company paid for all his hospital bills besides his leave for almost a month was still paid by the company in other words though he was absent he still received his salary why is this so so yun ang tanong nyo eh bakit po pwede yun mayari it is because of the rights of the workers and the responsibility of the company once the accident happens during the uh, employee's duty so for this module, for this lesson, so you will be learning about the rights and responsibilities of the employers, workers, and other persons in the workplace, including the lessons on the conf confidentiality in the workplace. 
And according to the Republic Act number 110581, this is an act strengthening compliance with the occupational safety and health standards and providing penalties for violation thereof. Its section one tells that the state affirms labor as a primary social and economic force and that a safe and healthy workforce is the integral part. The state shall ensure a uh, safe and healthful workforce for all working people by affording them a full protection against all hazards in their work environment. So, yeah. And after uh, the chapter three, section four of this RA, Republic Act 110581, states the duties and rights of the employers, workers, and other person. So, guys, kapag kayo ay nag-work na, ano, after nyong mag-schooling, after nyong mag-aral, so magtatrabaho na kayo. So, every one of us, kung empleyado ka, we are entitled, ano, dito sa section 4, ano, of RA 110581, ano, so states the duties and responsibilities of employers, workers, and other person. So, yan. So, kung ano man mangyari sa atin, o o sa ating mga empleyado so cover tayo ng ng company natin ano so yan every employer contractor or sub subcontractor if any and any person who manages controls or supervises the work being undertaken shall so here are the some here are the list of duties of the employers so listen very carefully okay Furnish the workers a place of employment free from hazardous conditions that are causing or are likely a cause of death illnesses or uh, physical harm to the workers. So, yeah. And number two, give complete job safety instructions or orientation to all the workers, especially to those entering the job for the first time. So, kapag kayo, syempre, baguhan tayo o baguhan kayo sa work nyo. So, lagi naman ang mga company nagkakandak ng orientation for you for all for you to know all of the duties and responsibilities at lahat ng mga protocols and rules and regulations of the company. So, tinatala kayo yun sa uh, ng HR, okay? Number three is inform the workers of the hazard associated with their work, health risk involved or to which they are exposed to. So, yan. Use only approved devices and equipment for the workplace. So, yan. Ang, ang bawat company naman ay uh, laging nagwe-remind about uh, the hazard, kung ano yung mga hazardous dyan. At kung kung ang uh, especially if the health ano if the health is involved ano so which we are going to expose to so that's why they are they are the company or each of the company or most and all of the company has their own protocols about uh, about that and of course kapag halimbawa you are at the factory nagtatrabaho ka sa factory lahat yan ay uh, may mga protocols silang sinusunod so what what you need to do as an employee is to follow the rules, the protocols na pinatutupad ng isang company. Okay? So, number five, comply with OSH. Ano ba yung OSH? So, ibig sabihin ng OSH standards, andito yung mga, uh, it includes the training, the medical examinations, and where necessary, provision of protective and safety devices such as a personal protective equipment or we call that a PPE and machine guards. guards. So, meaning itong occupational safety and health standards ay nako-cover niya ano kung ibig sabihin kailangan mong magkandak dito ng uh, ng training magkaroon ka ng medical examination and etc so yan kailangan mong mag-comply doon and and allow workers and their safety and health representatives to participate actively in the process of organizing, planning, implementing, and evaluating the safety and health program. So lahat naman ng company ay kailangan nilang magkaroon o mag, ma, uh, uh, magkaroon ng safety and health representatives ano, para mag-participate doon sa process ng pagpaplano about or pag-organize ng isang safety and health program. So hindi pwedeng hindi ang employers... Uh, susunod sa ganitong um, policy ano lalo na dun sa pagko-comply with the OSH so kailangan ni din nilang mag-comply regarding that and lastly for this number 7 it's provide where necessary for measure to deal with emergencies and accidents including the first aid arrangement so kailangan kaya nga lahat ng mga companies meron silang mga uh, company nurse company doctor or a company clinic so hindi natin kasi mali, uh, hindi naman natin malalaman o hindi natin alam kung kailan mangyayari ang aksidente. That is why accident. Okay? So, ito po yung mga duties of employers. So, which of these duties of the employers cited in the scenario from the 
introduction was applied by the company. So number one duties of the workers is every worker shall participate in ensuring compliance with OSH standards in the workplace. The workers shall make proper use of all the safeguards and safety devices furnished for the workers' protection and that of others and shall observe instructions to prevent accidents or imminent danger situation in the workplace and the worker shall observe the prescribed steps to be taken in the case of emergency so yan po yung uh, kailangan ma-ensure or ma-comply ano po and the worker shall report to the supervisor any work hazards that may be encountered in the workplace so that's why meron tayong lagi mga supervisors kasi their job is to supervise ano to supervise and oversee the employees Okay. So how about the duties of the other person? Ano ba yung duties of other person? So number one, it shall be the duty of any, uh, any persons, including the builder, contractor, who visits, builds, renovates, or installs devices or conducts business in any establishments or workplace to comply with the provisions of this act and in any regulations issued by the Secretary of Labor and Employment. So, yun yung duties nila. And other duties are whenever the two or more undertaking are engaged in activities simultaneously in one workplace, it shall be the duty of all engaged to collaborate with the applications of the OSH standards and regulations. So, yan po. And uh, from the section 5 to 8, so these are the workers' rights. Ano, meron din mga rights ang isang workers. So, number one, workers' right to know. Ano ba yung workers' right to know? The right to safety and health at work shall be guaranteed and all of workers shall be appropriately informed by the employer about all the types of hazards in the workplace. Provide access to training and education in chemical safety and to orientation and the data sheet of the chemical safety, electrical safety, mechanical safety, and even the ergonomical safety. This safety, uh, I have just discussed this the previous days. So uh, if you've forgotten uh, about this safety, you could go back to my uh, video and review that, okay? So another one is the workers' right to refuse unsafe work. So you as a workers, you have the rights to refuse. Pwede kang tumangge. Why? Because the workers has the right of refusal to work without threat or reprisal from the employer if, as determined by the dole, an eminent danger ex uh, situation exists in the workplace that may result in the illness, injury, or even death corrective actions to, the, to eliminate the danger that have not undertaken by the employer. Meaning to say, you as a worker, if you see that that place or that workplace is a dangerous thing for you so you have the right to to refuse that because the safety of your health and uh you, you want to avoid that any kind of injury or illnesses or even death so you have the right to refuse the unsafe work okay so pwede mo refusion kasi you have the rights okay so for another one is the right to report accidents how about this one, right to report accidents? Because workers and the representatives shall have the right to report accidents, dangerous occurrences, and hazards to the employer. To the DOLE and the other concerned government agencies exercising the jurisdictions as the, compo uh, I mean the competent authority in the specific industry or economic activity. Okay, so any kind of accidents, dangerous occurrences, or any kind of hazards, you may the right to report that okay another one is workers right to personal protective equipment or we call that the ppe so ibig sabihin as a workers uh, and the, the employers should have provide you or us as a tayo a worker employee they have to provide us the ppe or the personal protective equipment lalo na if you are working at the factory uh company so uh we, we know that here in the Philippines, they provide the per, uh, personal protective e equipment uh, for their uh, employer, um, I mean for their employee. Because every employer, contractor, or subcontractor in any shall provide these workers free of charge. So this is a free of charge. Free of charge protective equipment for their eyes, face, hands, and feet 
and lifeline safety belt or harness, gas or dust respirators or mask, a protective shield whenever necessary by reason of the hazardous work, process or environment, chemical, radiological, mechanical or other irritants or hazards capable of causing injury or impairment in any part of the body through absorption, inhalation, or uh, personal contact. So all of the PPE shall be of the appropriate type as tested and approved by the DOLE based on its standards. And all of the companies here in the Philippines, let's say the company at the, fact, uh, the factory, uh, and let's say you are a uh, working uh, and um, in the work field, so uh, you, all of you have the rights to have the PPE for your own protections. So, kung makikita niyo yung mga nagwo-work sa mga sa constructions, uh, the, the, uh, the, the manager, the owner, or even the contractor or subcontractor, they they do not allow their their employee or their workers uh, not to have the PPE because that is they, they have to follow the uh, protocols and uh, they have to comply with it. And because that PPE will serve you as your protection. Okay. So, lalo na yung mga nagwo-work ba? Halimbawa, yung mga utility, uh, I mean, yung, yung nagwo-work sa mga buildings, yung, yung naglilinis sila ng building sa labas. So, they, they, they need to provide a harness. Harness. Okay. So, uh, a lifeline support, safety belt, uh, gas or dust respirat respirators or mask, protective shield, and etc. Whatever uh, protection equipment that ha you, you have. Okay. So besides knowing the rights and duties and of the employers, the employee, and the other persons, you have maybe uh, one of them soon need to learn what confidentiality in the workplace is. So for some instances, the confidentiality refers to not discussing um, the internal ongoing with co-workers. So yeah. In other instances, ibig sabihin, it refers to not sharing trade secrets and other company information with competitors, the press, and or anyone outside of your company. Because the confidentiality has, the, has both casual and legal definitions. Okay, so if you are working um, in any company, because, you know, once you are you are hired, you are part of the, the family or the company, so... Um, Siyempre, hindi mo kailangan ipagkwentuhan or even itrade kung ano yung company secrets. Alam niyo, napapanood natin sa mga teleserye, yung mga company na nag-aagawa ng ideas. There, there are a one person going to, to other company, then they, they sell out the ideas of this company to that company. So, yan. So, nagkakaroon ng uh, ano, bentahan. So, you as a employee kailangan mong i-remain yung yung confidentiality ano so yan confidentiality ma matters okay the casual definition of confidentiality is statements made by co-workers even if the original source doesn't hear about your gossip the people you tell might lose perfect for respect for you and no longer trust you if you gossip with customers that might tell you competitors who will be less likely to hire you in the future. So no one, diba? So example. So I'll give you example for breaking casual or confidential communications are. So kunyari, repeating a co-worker's opinions of his boss. So yan. Revealing the fact that a pair is interviewing with another company. O diba, ba't yun? Nire-reveal mo? Forwarding a, uh, forwarding a confidential email from one employee to another. So, yan yung nakwento ko kanina. So, kunyari, hindi naman email, but binenta mo. Ano? So, yan. So, sh sharing information, you overheard others discussing or passing around, around a document you found that wasn't intended for others. So, ito po yung mga break, examples of breaking casual. So, those must be avoided if you become an employee or even a trainee. So, guys, kayo, mga grade 12 student. So, um, Kung kayo ay magte-train, so because the work immersion, di ba, ang work immersion natin is about uh, uh, parang on-the-job training, observation, you work as a trainee. So if you you are hired in a certain or some companies, establishments, firms, and others, so uh, please uh, maintain the confidentiality. So keep, I mean, I mean, you need to keep the confidentiality of your company. Ano, I-maintain mo yung integri integrity nila. Okay? 
and you have to be loyal to them. Of course, kasi they hired you, di ba? So how about the legal definitions of the confidentiality? So once you become an employee or a worker, you may have an access to information for company such as, so ito, ito yung sinasabi natin, that's why you, you have to be very uh, uh, careful kasi malalaman mo yung kung magkano yung salary nila, yung, yung mga perks na binibigay nila, yung mga sino ba yung mga clients nila, kanino ba sila nagkikipag-trades, magkano yung sales numbers nila, at saka sino-sino ba yung mga patrons, customers nila. Makikita mo yun yung customer's information. Tapos meron pang news about pending terminations, reason for a firing, bakit ba nafa-fire sila, meron din mga phone codes or computer passwords. Yan. Diba? Lahat ng iyan, once you get in, malalaman mo yan kasi you, you are part now with the company. And your employers don't want the employees to be divulged or reveal them to others when you are still working or even when you are leaving the company. So kaya nga, alam nyo, uh, once you've been hired sa HR pa lang, dinidetalya na yan. So you need, you need uh, to follow their pro protocols. Ano? So yan, ayaw nila na na halimbawa, once you you leave the company, kung anong nalalaman mo within that company, just iwanan nyo na lang yung nalalaman nyo dun sa company once you leave them. Ano, I-maintain pa rin natin yung confidentiality of that company because there are instances that the key will ask the employees to sign a confidentiality agreement to keep the secrets even if they are leave already. So there are many companies that doing that that you have to sign an agreement, confidentiality agreement, confidentiality agreement that that you need to keep their secrets even if you are already gone with them or leave that already okay so uh, i hope that you you have understood the legal definitions of the confidentiality so here are some examples of the legal ex i mean the legal examples as an employee or worker you must not divulge the following information ito yung kailangan mong uh, hindi ma-reveal so not to divulge any kind of information like if you're working in the in the restaurants, cafe, cafe, cafeteria, or any kind of food business. So the recipe must be kept a uh, secret. Research. Kunyari, if you're working in a research company, so any kind ng paggawa sa yun or research, so hindi mo kailangan yung i-reveal or divulge to anyone. Or mamaya, it might, uh, maybe you might thinking na, ibenta mo yung research na to dun sa ibang company. Diba? So, patents. Yan. Mahalaga yung mga patents na yan. Customers list. So, yan. Ang daming ganito yung mga sa customers list. Nalalaman kasi eh. Halimbawa, ako may company ako. And then, na-hired kita kasi nag-leave nag ka na dun sa company mo before. And then, I ask you, do you know who are their com they are their uh, customers, their patrons? Kung baga, me as your boss, I would, I would ask you in return uh, to hire you, so I'll, I'll I'll ask you, can you give me some list names? I mean, can you give me the names of uh, the other com my, my competitors about their their clients? So yeah, production process, yeah, and production process, financial information. This is very important. Uh, the financial information. So website traffic, statistics, and the computer and building security information. So yeah. Companies that collect data on the customers cannot share this information with other companies unless it informs customers in advance, such as when the business share the email list. So the personal information is very confidential and information in employees' files, such as yung mga social security numbers, salary, health records, disciplinary actions, or even determination reasons can't be discussed with the other employees. So yung mga yan, hindi mo pwedeng ikwento, even with your co-workers, ano, o kahit sa ibang tao. So kasi, uh, yung, yung, yung integrity ng isang tao ay nawawala, and even the company. Okay, so that's why kailangan natin, we must avoid or we must not divulge that's those informations. Ano, kailangan natin hindi siya ma-reveal not to divulge that. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So divulging inside the information can damage your former employer. Yes, of course, because you're allowing them to sue you to recover those damages. So you need to avoid revealing confidential information to anybody or anyone. Okay? So parang, parang ikaw, halimbawa, may kaibigan ka, may sinabi siyang sikreto sa'yo. So do not divulge that with, with, with your friends too. Kapag sinabi niyang, this must remain secret. Stay a secret. Keep it secret. Okay? So that is 
example, what is the Data Privacy Act in the Philippines? So, uh, ito, ito, panahon-panahon to, napapanahon, I mean, the Data Privacy Act of the Philippines. Kasi most of, ano, most of the time, uh, na, 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 uh, I mean, yung nawawala na yung privacy natin, di ba? So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng the Data Privacy Act of the Philippines? So, the Data Privacy Act, or Republic Act Number no. 10173 was passed by the Philippine Congress in 2012 and finally implemented five years later in 2016. The Republic Act 10173 assures that the free flow of information to promote innovation and growth. So itong Republic Act Number no. 10173 Chapter 1 Section 2 protecting the user's fundamental rights to privacy. And how is this implemented? Paano ba ito na implement Itong privacy na to, the rights to privacy. So, itong Republic Act number uh, 10173, so protects and maintains the right of customers to confidentiality by setting a legal list of uh, a list of rules for companies to regulate the collection, handling, and disposal of all personal information. And the company is legal, legally responsible for keeping their um, customers' data protected from third parties or any form of misuse internally or even externally. So, ganyan po yung, yung pag implement ng RA10173. And what is the personal information? So, pag sinabing personal information, so, uh, it is refers to any information, whether recorded in a material form or not, from which the identity of an individual is apparent or can be reasonably and directly ascertained by an, an entity holding the information or when to put together with other information would directly and certainly identify and an individual. So, ito nga yung sinasabi natin, Republic, Republic Act Number no. 10173, Chapter 1, Section 3. So that is the personal information. And how about yung sinasabi nating sensitive personal information? Ano ba y ano naman itong sensitive personal information? So about this in an individual race uh, origin, ko ano man yung marital status mo, edad mo, kulay mo, even your religion, philosophical or political affiliation. So yan yung mga personal or sensitive personal information. So, ngayon, ngayon nyo lang ba nalaman na very sensitive pala pag may nagtanong, what is your race? What is your marital status, your age, your color, even your religion? So, that is a person, sensitive personal information. Yes. And how about dun sa sinasabi natin, health, education, genetic and sexual life of a person, or any proceeding to... Uh, any offense committed or alleged to have been committed by such a person, disposal of proceedings or any sentence of uh, yung, uh, na, ano ito? yung ikaw ay uh, nakasuhan, yan. So those are very sensitive personal information. And, uh, so very sensitive kasi talaga yon. And another one is the issued by government agencies peculiar to any individual who includes but not limited to ito yung mga social security numbers natin. Alam nyo ba sa Amerika, they do not share their social security number because uh, dapat ang nakakaalam lang nun ay ikaw lang mismo, nobody else. They are very careful with their social security numbers. Yeah. Okay. And then the previous or um, uh, rent health records, licenses, or or uh, its denials, suspensions, or revo revocation, and the tax returns. So ito yung mga sample of the sensitive information that you, you do not have to share. Ano? So, yan. Whatever kind of information may it be data information kahit ito yung mga medical or health, uh, personal so, and sensitive uh, personal information, any worker or individual must show a confid confidentiality or of information. So, ina-avoid natin to na share sa ibang tao. Okay. Kasi pinapalangalag, we, we took care the, 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 uh, to keep the secrets of other person. Okay, besides confidentiality, trainee, workers, employee, and employers ma must take into consideration also the conflict resolution and prevention in the workplace. So, yan. Yeah. 
Pag sinabi natin conflict, so this is the state of incompatibility of ideas between two or more parties or individuals. It is also natural disagreement resulting from individuals or groups that differ in attitudes, beliefs, values, or needs. So dito nagkakaroon ng conflict. So ibig sabihin, incompatibility, you are not compatible with the ideas between the two parties or more. So yan, may conflict. Okay, pag sinabi natin conflict resolution techniques, so uh, meaning to say, listen, then speak out. So what you need to do is, it is better to listen first before you speak out. Okay, it is better for the two involved parties to speak and listen to one another to identify the root and the nature of conflict. So if somebody is talking, why don't you quiet first? Let, let, let the person finish first what he or she is saying or talking about and then after he or she is finished with with his sentiment or 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 what he is saying so then you 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 comes next okay so number two is gather the group so the employers must also arrange meetings so kaya nga kailangan mag gather ng group kailangan mag meeting arrange to discuss kung ano ba yung issue or yung issue para magkaroon agad ng immediate solutions ano para masatisfy ang lahat so ibig sabihin if we gather the group we, we set and arrange the meeting, we discuss the issue, and then follow na yung uh, solutions. And then everyone will get it, will get happy, right? So be impartial. So ibig sabihin ng be impartial, do not take sides. Kailangan mo munang mag -listen. Lend your ears to them and listen to them. Ano ba talaga? So you should listen to both parties. Okay? Wag, basya, wag, anto, wag kang bias. Kaya nga sabi, be impartial. Do not, do not take sides. Okay? Do not postpone conflicts resolution. So, ito, madalas na nangyayari ito mga ganito. Eh. Postpone conflicts resolutions. So, ibig sabihin, if the conflict arises, ano, nag-arise nag na yung, yung problems or a certain issues. So, ibig sabihin, dapat may, may agadan or fast or immediate addressing the issue. Immediate response with the issue. Yun dapat yung da gawin. Do not postpone. Bakit? Kasi it may affect the everyone's performance. And then magkakaroon ng conflict. Ano? So that might be aggravated by others. So, tandaan ha, do not postpone conflicts resolution. So, needed natin ay yung immediate response to address the issue and solve the problems. Right? Yeah. And promote teamwork. Uh, dito tayo magaling, right? We, if we promote a teamwork, ano? It is best to remind the staff that the importance of a work working as a team. Kasi ito na discuss ko to in my previous lessons, right? Kasi if you yung teamwork dun sa less module two kuna tatandaan yon yung module to natin. So if we do teamwork, mas nagiging quality yung product or ah yes yung product or yung outputs na inilalabas natin o na iishare natin, de ba? If halimbawa ano walang teamwork, so nakakaroon ng conflict, nakakaroon ng ng ano, issue, di ba? So, sasabihin, ako lang naman ang gumawa nito eh, ganyan. So, yan. So, that's why we need, uh, and all of the company is always promoting teamwork. Kasi mas maganda yung one, um, um, uh, mas better yung, mas maraming heads kesa sa isa, di ba? Kasi mas maraming, maraming nakikikooperate, maraming nag-iisip, mas maganda yung output and outcomes. So, the quality comes next, right? And broadcast praises. Yan. Maganda yung ganito. Kapag may nagagawang mabuti, so may, uh, may nagagawang mabuti, na, so you need to, kumbaga, uh, syempre, ipapraise mo and then it will spread to everyone in the workplace. So, anong nangyayari, this makes everyone being motivated and, and encouraged to do the same. So, kapag hindi mo sila pupurihin, so nawawalan sila ng gana because they, they, they haven't received praises from the bosses, from you as a boss, di ba? So, kapag na-praise mo sila, namamotivate ang, ang iyong empleyado. Okay. How will the conflict be prevented? So, ito maganda. Paano natin ma-prevent ang isang conflict? So, being open. So, it, it, it is better to express the issue and then deal with them. So, being open. Maganda yung being open. Okay. Maintain the clear communication. Kasi sometimes, not sometimes, but all, almost all the time. Kasi nawawalan ng communication eh. Or nagkakaroon ng misunderstand, misunderstanding. So, kaya art, yung thoughts hindi, hindi nagiging clear to, to one another or to everyone. Ano? So, kaya nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. Another one is encourage different points of view. Ayan. And evaluate each fairly. 
maganda ito. And then demonstrate respect for team members rather than resorting to blame game. Ayan. So, ito yan. Ano. So, demonstrate respect. Mas maganda yan. You, you should respect uh, your team members or your co-workers. And keep team issues with, within the team. Kung anong issues nyo, doon na lang. Doon at uh, may kwento-kwento pa with the other teams, right? Kasi, kumbaga, nare-reveal, nade-devolts yung kung ano nga meron sa inyong team. Talking of issues outside will result a bigger and longer conflict. Yes. And it is happen all the time. Okay now. So I hope na nakinig kayo guys. Kasi because we are going to do the activities now. So ito yung madali lamang guys ha. Uh, all you have to do is to write the true or false, right? So the directions. Write true if the statement is true and false if, if it is incorrect. And then write your answer in your uh, uh, notebook or pad sheet or typewriting or in any clean pad paper, okay? So answer these activities. I will give you time to answer this. And then after nyong masagutan to, let us move on to another activity, which is my actions. Ano naman tong activity ito? So ang activity ito, so for the activity two, read the following situation and answer the questions that follow. And write your answer on the sheet pad, ano, or paper. Okay, so there is, number one is there is a group at work that often gossips about others on the job. You like these people but don't want to be a part of the gossip sim. What will you do? So, ano ba yung naisip mo na dapat mong gawin dito? Okay, so sagutan nyo yan guys ay yung activity, activity two. It, it is just one to three. So, yeah. So, cite one to two sentences. English or Taglish or Filipino. It's up to you but it's it's okay but uh, I hope that you, you, you should answer it in English because you are um, a senior high school. You have to, to write your essay or sentences or paragraphs in a uh, kung ano. If the, if the question is in English, so you have to answer it in English too. But the, if the question is in Filipino or Tagalog, so you have to answer it in Filipino or Tagalog. So if it is in Taglish, Taglish English, yeah, you should write it in a Taglish or English. Okay, but the question is in English. So you have to answer it in English, okay? So I'll give you time for uh, answering this activity too. Okay now, so after answering the activity two, let us now move to activity three, the past and the future. So you have a probably experienced having conflict with a classmates in your school. Yes, a conflict with your siblings at home or even your friend groupmate or teammate so you need to share an experience in this one or two paragraphs okay so the content may include the root of conflict span of time of the conflict lasted mamaya tumagal yung away nyo ng 10 years oh my god how you and then how you resolved it write your paragraphs in a sheet pad of paper o kaya ay gamitin nyo yung likod dun sa kung ano man yung ano um libreng papel na meron kayo dyan okay so for the letter b if you are given the chance to be a team leader of a certain organization, how are you going to maintain the harmony in your organization? So, maganda to. So, a positive na to, positive outlook. So, what rules will you implement? Diba? And enumerate them together with their importance and or reasons why. So, if you have experience to be a president in your classroom or even in the organization, so, uh, you can write it down, okay? Yeah. I'll give you a, a minute or a second for doing that, guys. Yes. So now, let us now wrap up. So for, for the wrap up, so everything you have learned today, read and answer the following question. So for number one, being a trainee or employee someday, how will these rights and duties help you in your job? Sa palagay nyo. Being a trainee or employee someday. Do you think ito bang mga rights na napag-aralan natin today will help you in your job in the near future after you graduate? Ay makakatulong daw ba ito? Yes, of course. Kasi dito pa lang, di ba, sa ating work immersion pa lang, pa lang nga, di ba? Pinag-aaral, we, we, we have just uh, study, learn the duties and responsibilities as, as an employee, as an employer, and the other persons, right? As we have been discussed earlier, nalaman natin ang rights ng bawat isa. So, of course, pagdating ng future, this will help you a lot. So, uh, i-remember nyo lang to. 
So for the second one is what is the implication to you of learning the, in, the confidentiality of data information? How will you apply it now? So sa iyong palagay, kaya mo na ba na may apply ito? Or do you think, what, what, what implications to you of learning the confidentiality of the data or information, data information? How will you apply it now? Simple. Halimbawa, oh, example ganito. Sa bahay, as a friend mo na lang. Example natin yung friend mo. Your friend is asking you a favor to keep uh, her or his secrets. Diba? So, yan. Kaya lang, you, you have a friend too, which is very close to her or to him. And then suddenly, this one friend is asking you to tell him and to tell her about the secrets of your friend. So, yan. So, it's up to you if you want to keep that secret. Ano? So, yan. Mahirap bang gawin? May implications ba? Ayan. Okay. So, di ba ba? Doon sa pinag-aralan natin earlier, so we have to keep that secret. We avoid or we need to not divulge or reveal the confidentiality of anyone. Di ba? Kasi di ba pag nireveal mo, nidivulge mo siya. Dinivulge mo yung information or secrets of your friend. So, what will you lose? Yes, trust. Correct. Okay. So, let us now move. You have also learned the resolution and prevention of conflicts. What do you think is the importance of all this at home, in school, in organization, or the company? What do you think? Anong importance nito? You have learned the resolutions and preventions of conflict. What do you think is the importance of this, of all of this? Yeah, ano? Tiwala, respeto, respeto, integrity, loyalty. Yan. Yan yung mga importante. Siyempre yung dignidad mo, integrity mo, di ba? Ayan. Mapapagkatiwalaan ka. So ngayon pa lang, practicing mo na yan. Kapag may nagkwento sa inyo, keep it secret, di ba? So yeah, that is better. Okay, so I hope na na may natutunan kayo sa ating uh, discussion. Okay, so for our valuing, so ano ba yung valuing natin dito? Right ways on how you will show commitment to your work and then start your answer with the statement. So dito tayo mag-start ha? Okay, I will demonstrate 100% commitment to my work as a trainee or as, a, as an employee by. So dugtungan nyo na yan. So okay, so dudugtungan nyo lang yan ha? I'll give you a, a seconds for answering that. And after you answering the uh, the following, so I would like you to to do this pause test. So kaunti lang naman ito, hindi naman kayo mahihirapan na sagutan ito kasi it's just only a five questions. Okay, sorry. Okay, so can you please answer this pause test? I'll give you a seconds or a minute for answering this. Okay, so uh, after answering the post test, the valuing, the activity one, two, and three, kindly please uh, pass your answer sheets to your teacher. O kaya kung kayo naman ay nasa malayong lugar at it cannot be delivered to your school, pwede yung ask your teacher if you can uh, screenshot your answer sheet and then send it to, to her or his or your teacher's messenger para uh, ma-avoid natin yung paglabas-labas, di ba? O kaya ay if your parents are busy and cannot to go to, to school ano, to hand it, your answer sheets to your teacher. So uh, there are so many ways. Okay? So please, guys, answer those questions and send or submit it to your subject teachers. Yes. Magiging happy na kami once na makapag-submit kayo ng inyong mga answer sheets. Okay? So guys, do not uh, forget dun sa ating mga na previous nating na pag-aralan kasi tayo ay magkakaroon pa ng mga uh, long test. Yes. So, yan. Review, review lang tayo pag may time. Okay. So, uh, oh. So, I would like to end na. I would like to end this uh, video. So, guys, thank you for listening and watching. So, I hope to see you soon for my next video or my next learning episode, the module 5. So, uh, see you next time. Bye!